Hello and welcome to part two of downloading and installing PrestaShop. In this module we're going to be looking at setting up a MySQL database on your web host. And for a lot of you this might be pretty easy if you're tech savvy, but for uh, a large group of people that have never done this before and who want to do it themselves without having to hire somebody it can be pretty intimidating. So I'm going to show you how I do it on my Bluehost account. You may or may not have a similar experience if you have a different uh, web host like for instance if you use GoDaddy or HostGator or whoever you may use but the process should be relatively similar so hopefully you can take this information and it'll make your life a little easier when you try to set up your own MySQL database which is actually very easy so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna log into my Bluehost account now that we're inside of the Bluehost cPanel we're going to scroll down to the databases section and then we're going to open up a MySQL database or create a MySQL database. So this is what it looks like inside of the Bluehost create your MySQL database area. So the first thing we want to do is create a new database. Now your database could look totally different I really don't know but basically the way uh, we do it here is we just need to give the database a name and I'm going to make mine simple, press to training. And then I'm just going to click create the database. Okay, now it says it added the database. Bluehost adds a little chunk in front of the press to training. And yours very well may do the same thing. It kind of depends on how your domain name structure works. and how uh, your host actually keeps track of your databases. But basically I've got this section and then an underscore and then the name of my database. So I want to go ahead and go back and I want to do a couple more things before we're done. And just to show you here, I do have the new database set up. Here it is right here. Uh, this little section in front, the underscore, and then press to training. Now right now it shows the size is zero, uh, which is correct because it just got created. And this is something we want to pay attention to. There are no users in here right now, and we definitely need to have a user there. And then you can also delete the database if you screw up or if uh, for some reason you need to get rid of it. So we're going to scroll down, and then we're going to create a user for that database. Now I have two sections here. I have the MySQL users who are just people that I'm going to create as users to give access to my various MySQL databases. Now I already have created myself as a user so I don't need to create myself as a user again but if this is your first time or your very first setup for any MySQL database then you may need to create a user and it's just very simple you just go in here and create your user and then give it a password and confirm your password at least in Bluehost it may be different in your web host and then you click on create user. If I scroll down a little bit further, I can see that I have all of these users, you know, because I have multiple WordPress installations and shopping carts and different things like that. So I need to use this first user right here, which is obscured, of course. I'm not showing any of my information, but there is a user here. And up in this area is how I actually attach that user to the database, and that's going to be important or you won't be able to access your database. So I'm going to be sure that I've got the right user, which that is the one I want to use. And then I want to use the correct database, which is Presta Training. And then I'm just going to add that user to the database. Now in Bluehost, I can select the level of privilege that I want to provide that user. And in my case, since I'm an administrator, I just would prefer to give myself all privileges. So I'm going to make those changes says this user was added to this database. I'm going to go back. So now we can see that this database has this user. And if you want to add multiple users to your database, you can. But for me, one user works just fine since I'm the database administrator. And that really is all there is to creating a MySQL database and adding a user. Now, you're going to want to remember this information. You need to know the name 
of the MySQL database that you just created. So whether you write that down or print this information off, you will want to know that because you'll have to fill that out when we actually set up the PrestaShop installation. So that should give you a very good introduction to how to set up a MySQL database, which must be done prior to actually installing your PrestaShop store. You can't set up the PrestaShop store without this database. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video, which will get into the actual installation of your PrestaShop store.